Oof. Lady Edwina joins Earthshot with Wales but snubs Meg's plea for renewing Sussex's charitable work. The Princess of Wales was reunited with the Royals' family friend as she opened a new family-friendly residential center in Southampton on Tuesday. K41 visited the Hope Street Center designed to provide a safe environmental for women and their children as they go through the courts. She was shown through around the facility by Lady Edwina Grosvenor, who is the founder and chairwoman of One Small Thing, the charity behind the center. Watch as Kate pins a handwritten note to a tree in the facility's courtyard. Lady Edwina, 41, is the goddaughter of Lady Diana, Princess of Wales, while her younger brother, Hugh Grosvenor, is the 7th Duke of Westminster and also Prince George's godfather. Hugh and Lady Edwina are two of the late Gerald Grosvenor's sixths of Duke of Westminster's children, along with the Tady Tamara, Van Kutsam, and Lady Viola Roberts, as well as the founding One Small Thing, which aims to redesign the justice system for women and their children. Lady Edwina is a founding investor and ambassador of the Klink's restaurant chain, which trains prisoners for work in the catering industry. However, the pair's reconnection was enraged Meghan Markle, who has recently had a string of major firms reject the couple. According to a friend, Meghan seemed to be depressed and phoned Lady Edwina for a collaboration between One Small Thing Charity and the Sussexes Archwell. Lady Edwina and Dan were guests at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding at St. George's Chapel in Windsor in May 2018. Instead of replying to the request, she revealed something that might leave Meghan Markle speechless. Her own mother was a drug addict who stole narcotics from her medical charity. Meghan has no compassion. Prince Harry made so disappointed. The palace found the games for him. He's not capable of doing it itself, and whether it's a lie or not, she still spent £380,000 on clothes for the one charity weekend. They could have donated that to the games, but as Harry said, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. They only use charities to say, hey, look at me, now give me another Christmas Cracker Award. Lady Edwina earned a bachelor's degree in criminology and sociology from Northumbria University in 2005, and a master's degree in criminology and crime scene management from Solent University in August 2021. She also serves on the advisory board of the University of Oxford Center for Criminology and the Faculty of Law and is patron of Paladin, the country's only national stalking advocacy agency. In November 2010, she married British TV presenter Dan Snow in a modest wedding ceremony in Moulton, Liverpool. The couple has three kids. On the other side, royal expert Jenny Bond was commended the Prince of Wales' inauguration of Home Wars, a five-year locally-driven program that will demonstrate that it is possible to abolish homelessness. With the launch of Home Wars, the Prince of Wales has taken the next step in shedding the awareness on the UK's homelessness crisis. The initiative, which took two years to put together, is a five-year locally-driven program that will demonstrate that it is feasible to abolish homelessness by working together to make it rare, brief, and unrepeated. To kick off homewards, Prince William embarked on a 48-hour tour of the UK, visiting six iconic areas that would be the first to benefit from the program. Lambeth in South London, Bournemouth, Newport, Belfast, Ardrebeen, and Shellfield are among them. The initiative and its goals have received widespread praise, with royal expert Jenny Bond praising it to the heavens. I think William is showing that he is determined to do more than simply pay lip service to the idea that the royal family can make a difference, the former BBC royal journalist told OK exclusively. But William has spent the past two years thinking hard about solutions to homelessness studying how other countries, for example Finland, have eradicated the problem and that with the help of experts has come up with a punchy and accountable plan. Referring to the initial five-year scale of the project, Jenny added, I think the deadline is important and means that towards the end of this decade, we will have been able to see whether the idea is working. It is a considered practical blueprint for the future. Let's hope it works. Prince William's interest for boosting the visibility of homeless charities dates back several years and was inspired by his mother Diana. 
Princess of Wales, who would accompany her two children to charity trips to meet the individuals in need. The prince who supports organizations like Centerpoint and The Passage is carrying on his late mother's legacy, according to Jenny. Obviously, it was his mother who instilled in William the deepest interest in helping the homeless, and he has already stated that he intends to pass this on to his own children.